In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the enemy follower player using A star pathfinding algorithm. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So in here I have set up this simple unity scene with this player that I have created inside of Photoshop. And this player has this script which takes care of all the movement. And I have also added this rigid body 2D component to our player and the circle collider here. Also I have set up this enemy which has just a single circle collider and, a, and the same graphics as our player object. And I have made this simple environment so that our player and the enemy can move around. So yeah, that's basically it. If we go ahead and hit play now. Here we can move around our player and he faces the forward direction. But the enemy here does nothing for now. So we need to make our enemy follow our player somehow. For that we will be using this a star pathfinding project type this in your browser and open up the first website here in here go to the download page and download this free version here it will download a zip file which i have already unzipped once you have unzipped the file there will be a folder and inside that folder there will be a unity package so double click and open it up it will open it up inside of unity and once it has now let's just hit import here and wait for it to load and once you have imported this you will see this folder here which we will be using for our AI here so let's go to hierarchy and right click and create a new game object here let's name it pathfinding and just reset the transform here and let's hit add component and the component that we want to add is the pathfinder so let's just scroll down to our a star pathfinding script and the first thing we need to do is click on graphs and select the grid graph here now we have this grid graph here extend it and the first thing we need to do is to check this 2d button here this little box will appear here and let's just make it uh, bigger so that it covers all of our game object inside of our scene here. So let's scroll down here and we also need to check this use 2D physics here and make sure that the collider type is set to circle and not point. And just bump up the diameter a bit. The obstacle layer mask is set to nothing for now. So let's just give it a layer here. Go to the environment and select all the walls. Go to the layer, add layer and let's just name this layer as environment. Now go back to the walls and select them all and assign this environment layer. So okay, so let's go back to the pathfinding script and here set the obstacle layer mask to the environment layer. Cool. Now just hit scan and the graph will automatically set the obstacle and the blue area here is the path that our player can walk to. We can also change the diameter here if we want and hit scan again to give it a little more space. The bigger the diameter, the further our player will walk from the obstacles. You can play around with this and see whatever fits your need. I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Okay so the next thing we want to do is to select our enemy here and hit add component. And the component that we want to add here is the AI path. Once you add this you will also see the seeker script here. Let's scroll down to the AI path script here. Let me just quickly set up this scene window here so we can get a better look at what's going on inside our scene. So let's go to orientation here and set it to 2D games. Let's just increase the diameter size here and find the gravity here. Set it to none. Let me just quickly show you what happens if you don't do this. 
Let's hit play and as you can see the enemy quickly starts to fall down and that's something we don't want it to do. So let's go back to the gravity and set it to none. And I'm just gonna leave all the other settings as is for now. And just bump up the speed to 2. And let's hit play here. But nothing seems to be happening here. It is because we also have to set the target for our enemy here. Hit add component and add destination setter component. And just assign the player as the target here. And hit play now. Now the enemy is following the player but let's wait for it to read the player. Well it doesn't stop when it reaches the player here. So let's exit play mode and find our enemy here, change the and read distance. Let's bump it up a bit more. And also increase the radius here. Let's hit play now and wait for the enemy to read the player again. Well, the problem still exists, so let's exit. So let's exit play mode and close this maximize on play and let's hit start again. So when the enemy hit the player, we can see what is going on here. So let's zoom in a bit and change these values here. So we are in the play mode. So when we exit it, we can set them back. So let's exit the play mode and change the values here. I'll just make it 2 and also increase the slowdown distance to 3. And let's hit play. See if it works. Let's zoom out a bit. And as you can see, it stops when it gets near the player. But there is a problem here. It doesn't face the proper direction. And the fix this issue we will have to give our enemy another script but it is important that we add this script to the graphics select graphics here and i'm gonna name it enemy movement and hit add and create here let's wait for it to load and open it up inside of visual studio and in here we need to include this pathfinding class here. And down here let's make a reference to the AI path script that resides on the enemy object and also let's make a vector 2 to store the direction. And inside of the update function let's make another method that will take care of the direction. I will call this method fast velocity and let's make the function down here. We will assign the desired velocity from our AI path script to this direction vector and set the transform dot right of our enemy to this direction. And that's basically all we need to do. Let's just save this script and go back to Unity. And in here, wait for the script to load. Select the graphics and assign the enemy game object to this AI path slot. And now we can hit play here and see if everything works. As you can see, everything is working just fine. We can also move our player around and the enemy will follow it perfectly. And when the enemy reaches the player, it stops. So yeah, that is all we need to do. You can also play around with the environment, set this in whatever way you want to. And then just find this pathfinding game object and hit scan here. And if you go ahead and hit play now, it will work just fine. 
and our enemy here will correctly follow our player and find the shortest path to its destination. So this is it guys, if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section. I'll of course put a link to everything that I've used in this tutorial. And if you like this video please hit that like button and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing. And until next time, see ya.